Okay guys, here on here, um, I'm, I got my, my paintbrush, and I got my paper, and I'm just wiping off some of the basic color. But I'm still leaving a good amount of color on the brush. You can see I, I'm still hitting the brush and there's still color coming off it. And that's what I want when I'm doing this overbrush. So now, when you, we paint this guy, instead of going deep into the recesses, like I have been, I just want to sort of spin and do the top edges of the model. And some of you might not be able to tell the difference of what I'm doing. And I'll show you again here in a second. But just sort of get in the top areas of the model. I'm not actually going deep into the deeper recesses. So you'll notice when I compare this model to one, this is one of the models that I ever brushes, and I compare the two of them together, all of a sudden this guy's even brighter than he is. And really what you're doing is you're trying to get that brightness of color. You're trying to get it over the, the whole surface of the model. And you can't tell very well, but the deep recesses are still the dark color, the darker, more robust deep color that this guy is. So let's look at him. So we're going to do the same thing that I just did to the other one to him. So before, yeah, I know. I just uh, I wipe my brush off before. Before I was really pushing on the model. You can really see, and really getting deep into the crevices of the model. Well, here I'm not. I'm just sort of brushing the exterior of the guy. I'm not, and I, you see, I'm not going into the, the depth underneath, underneath where the gun is. I'm just trying to sort of brush the exterior, compo exterior armor plates of the model and really just sort of give the outer surface a brush. And what that does is it creates depth. Your eye, your eye won't be able to see it necessarily right away, but later on down the road it's going to create a, de a layer of depth and shadow to the yellow and uh, especially after we do the ink wash alright so there's this guy I've, I've got him, to, I've got two more to do, I'm going to do them and I'll be right back alright guys here on here so I've, te I've gone and done the second layer over brushing onto these, onto these models and uh, I think they look pretty good. See if I can get the camera to focus on this guy. There we go. So uh, the next step in the yellow, and this is actually the final step for a while for the yellow, is to do a light dry brush, actually two light dry brushes, a sun of sunburst yellow over the entire model. So there's a reason you do two. The first one is going to brighten the model up in the same way that the other two layers have done. The layer after that is going to pick up the detail on the edges and really make the model pop. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I'm going to set the camera back down and uh, get on to the next step. Be right back guys. Alright, so what I do is I'm going to dip my paint, my brush, into the paint and take a big glob. I'm going to put that down on my palette. So what this is going to do is it provides me with paint to paint with. So now, unlike before, I'm going to take a fresh piece, you can hear me in the background, a fresh piece of paper towel here. Now I'm going to wipe all the paint off my brush. I'm going to wipe my brush until uh, sorry about that guys, I knocked my, my camera over. So I'm going to basically keep keep going, keep brushing my brush, and I do it in a circular motion until there's very little paint coming off the surface. So then I'm going to take one of my guys, like so, and I'm just going to very lightly, just the same way I was doing before, very lightly brush over the model. What this does, if you've never dry brushed before, is it's just picking out the upper surfaces of the model with that yellow color, with that brightest yellow color. So then, I'm going to set the model aside 
and do that to my the other three that I have. I'll be right back. Hey guys, Sharon here. So I'm done with the first uh, dry brushing of yellow on these guys. You can see they're looking kind of bright. Much brighter than one of the starting guys does. Here's a guy who's only had the spray primer done to him. You can see the difference right away. Just how much brighter and more vibrant and the yellow is on this guy. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the second coat of yellow. So once again, I'm going to take my pot, which I've got here in my hand. I'm going to dip my brush in, get some more yellow out, put it on my palette. I know it's happened off, off screen guys, but I'm working on getting a nice HD camera that's going to show you that has a wider screen view and it's going to actually show you better what I'm doing. So once again, I'm going to get the yellow, as much of the yellow as I can off the, off the brush. So I'm just using a very light dry brush of the yellow. So we got our guy. We're just very softly and in a circular motion, we're going to go over the topmost areas of the model. Come on, focus. There you go. We'll go over the very topmost areas of the model. Very lightly, very gently, paint the guy. So now we're going to do it again. Take this multi multi guy on the camera, focus on him. Now I'm just going to very lightly brush the upper surface of the model. So there we go, I got two more guys to do. I'm gonna do them and I'll be right back. Hey guys, this is Huron. Uh, so that's it for the uh, Tuesday tutorial for the first week of uh, 2010. Uh, hope you guys uh, learned some techniques and if you have any questions, please go ahead and ask me and I'd be more than happy to either uh, reshoot some of the more in depth uh, bits or to uh, explain some of the more of the techniques to you. Um, Here's our four guys and where they are. They're nice and bright, you can see, compared to this guy who is hasn't been had any paint painting done to him, has just been had the spray coat. Much different color. Uh, so next week we're gonna talk about uh, reds and washes and um, the steps that I do with that. So uh, I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you later.